how long can you ride the Talaria Sting for in the real world before it dies? We're gonna find out next on Now Let's Review. Okay, 100% battery on the Talaria Sting. I'm gonna measure how far this thing can go in hours, not in miles, because when you're talking about off-road riding, usually you measure it in hours instead of miles. So again, 100% battery, it's 2.15 p.m. right now. I'll show you to prove it. Oh, I'm sorry, 2.14, my bad. Uh, but it will be 2.15 by the time I take off, probably. So I'm just gonna see how long I can ride for. I'll check in with you at 75%, at 50%, at 25%, and at 10%, because I don't want it to really die while I'm out here. I'd rather be able to ride it home first so that I don't end up stranded out here. So I'll check in with you at those intervals, and we'll talk about how it's doing. All right, so I've been riding for a bit. We're at 75% now. Uh, let's see what time it is. I actually have not looked, so this will be as new to me as it is to you. 3.09, oh my goodness. That means it's almost been an hour of riding and I'm almost a quarter of the way through the battery. Here's the thing though, I've been riding pretty hard, but I've also been taking lots of breaks to like deal with cameras and make sure everything's still recording and all that. So I haven't been nonstop riding for an hour. It's been kind of on and off, although I think I'm basically done recording stuff at this point other than the check-in, so I'm just gonna ride, see how long I can go. I'm gonna make sure I'm riding it hard. I'm doing a lot of woods riding, so it's not gonna be like track riding where I'm just wide open all the time. The woods riding is a lot more on and off throttle, a lot of coasting, a lot of slow crawling stuff. So it is less taxing than it would be if I was trying this on a track, but I'm still curious because this is one of the two major applications that you'll use a dirt bike for, so we'll see how it does. We'll check in when we're at 50%. Wow, that's tight. <sighs> okay, 50%. With the exception of probably 20 minutes total of taking breaks to set up cameras and then talking to my neighbors, it is now 4.10, that means it has been two hours all about since I started riding. I'm not holding back with this bike, I'm riding this bike hard because I want to see how it does and I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with this bike so far. I am riding this thing through these trails as fast as I've ever ridden a real dirt bike, if not faster, honestly. I think because of the power to weight ratio of this bike, I think, uh, I think I'm actually taking this thing through these trails faster than I've ever taken anything before. And that is really, really impressive. So again, we're at 50% battery. It's been almost two hours. I will say now that the battery is at 50%, it does not have nearly as much get up and go. It still has quite a bit and it still has the low end snap to get the front wheel off the ground, but it is not nearly as much as it is with a full battery. And I know that's to be expected. That's just how electric vehicles go. But it still has the ability to rip through the trails. So at this point in the day, it was getting late and I had to go home for dinner, but I continued the range test the following day. All right, so day two of range testing, I had to leave last night because it was getting late and I had to go for dinner, but we're back again. Let's check and see, it is 10.08 a.m. I'm at 39%. We got about two hours worth of riding in yesterday using about 60% of the battery. So we'll see what we can do for today. So yeah, 39% starting. I'll check in at 25% and see how it's doing. Okay, we are at 25% now and the battery is flashing. Haven't seen that yet. I actually haven't gotten the battery this low yet. So this is as new to me as it is to you. 25% battery is flashing. It has been about 15 minutes of riding since the battery was at 39%. It's now at 25. So 
it is draining significantly faster now than it was yesterday when it had more charge. So, so at 25%, it's lacking a lot of juice, but it's still got enough to you know get you up to speed. And even at 25%, it still has enough torque down low to stay in the front wheel up. Here's the thing, in the trails, being this low on battery isn't really making a ton of a difference because you're not really using a whole lot of juice in the trails anyways, only really to accelerate out of corners and stuff. But out, you know, in a field environment or like a track environment, that's where you'd really start to notice the fact that you're really low on power. But it's still doing well. It just definitely is not accelerating nearly as hard. Okay, don't know if you can see, but we are at 10%. The battery indicator is showing empty. I've been riding it hard as usual. It is now 1045, so it's been 35 minutes since it was at 39%. So yeah, the battery is definitely draining way faster now than it was yesterday when I was doing this. So I think it's safe to say that you can get about two and a half hours, if not more, of trail riding out of this bike. If you're gonna be riding at higher speeds, like on a track setting, you're gonna get way less out of it because that's just draining way more of the battery. If I wasn't riding as aggressively as I was, I could definitely have gotten three hours out of this, but I was pushing it the whole time just because that's how I like to ride. But so yeah, I would say two and a half-ish hours of aggressive trail riding is what you can expect to get out of the Talaria. I could go a little more. Again, I do have 10% left, but it's at the point where it doesn't really have a whole lot left to give. I mean, it still goes, like it's still, it's still making it around the trails, but it is so down on power. Yeah, I mean, I'm full throttle right now and it's not really picking up much at all. So I would say if you're out for a ride at this point and you hit 10%, it is time to go back because I don't really feel like pushing it out in the woods, especially with how quickly the battery's draining right now. I don't know how long I've got out of it. So I'm gonna wrap it up at 10%. I'm gonna call that the full range test. So we'll conclude it again at two and a half-ish hours of aggressive trail riding. So that's all I've got for you today. Hope it was helpful. Hope this clears up one of the major concerns if you're considering buying the Talaria Sting. Make sure you check out my full review coming up very soon. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Now let's review.